in this video I was going to uh, make it so that the ghosts or the ghouls actually affected the lives of the bat so every time a ghoul touched the bat a life would go down however um, it's really annoying me how whenever I press the green flag and start new game they all start wherever I drag them last so instead um, we're gonna make this video about setting a starting position for each of our characters. Um, really, really easy one, this one. Uh, click on any of your characters, for example, maybe the bat, um, and then make sure when bat drops, which is to level one, all you need to do is put in a, let's have a look, uh, a go to. There we go, go to X coordinate and Y coordinate. Um, so we'll go to, and what you can do as well, which is quite handy, is wherever you put them, it does say um, in that area right there. So, um, let's say, oh, can you use this? Um, I think you can. Um, so if we use that there, so minus 83, minus 5. Um, so that's pretty close, to be honest, I think, because I moved my mouse a little bit. So let's get rid of that one that I just put in. Oh, um, throw that away, shove that back in there, and then there we go. So now whenever I move um, the little bat, then when I press green, start new game, it's just going to appear back there. Now, if I do this to each one of the ghouls as well, um, say for example, which one is this? Uh, let's have that one starting out there. Um, so again, that swapped it to where it will be. So I'm just going to, when backdrop switch to level one, throw that one in there. Uh, my next ghoul, that one right there, you can start in the bottom right hand corner. And again, it's done that for me. And then the top one can start right in the middle there. And once again, just put it for me. And then just when it back to up, switches to level one, put you there. Um, now when I press, every time, then it's kind of like we're starting out. And then no matter where the ghouls end up going. Um, so you'll notice that one right there. Oh, that's annoying. Um, that one right there, it's gone to the middle. But now if I stop and play and I start again, they're all back in their original starting positions. Now I am trying as well to get rid of the glitchiness um, when the ghouls kind of hit the the side and then they kind of get stuck in the wall a little bit by putting for each ghoul uh, move five steps so kind of like with the bat where the bat when it hits the wall it's going to move 20 steps I thought well I'll try five with the ghouls five doesn't seem to be enough so I'm gonna maybe change it to ten for each one and hopefully um, that will sort it out um, so next video is gonna all be about having a set number of lives for the bat character or for your main controllable character and then when you touch or when the ghouls finally catch you one of the lives disappears until you have no lives left um, so thank you very much for watching this video